Hello guys, welcome back to Emperor's Light Tarot. It's me, Tony, back with your spiritual messages for today. Hopefully your day has been going great so far. It is afternoon time. Excuse me, I started a little late today, but we're here, right? We're here. Of course, I can't go a day without putting out a message for y'all, right? Or I'll hear it in the comment section. <laughs> Let's get into it. Come into the reading, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow. Right? Use your discernment. All the messages may not resonate for you. Leave behind those that don't for others that may come into the channel. Thanks to all the returning subscribers and those that are new to the channel. Sit back and relax and enjoy this therapeutic storytelling. Let's check the current romantic energy surrounding you at this time. We're going to be reading the energies of your person or the energies coming towards you. What's happening around you at this time in regards to love. Let's get into it. Let's get intuitive. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, nice, bright, sunny day out today. I had an interesting, long morning. I actually had a checkup, a doctor's appointment. Normally took takes about an hour. It was more like two hours today. And, um, yeah, pretty chill. I feel a little restless as well. I may have to take a power nap at some point. Let's see. Highest messages of love and light for the collective today. We got some jumpers. What do they need to know in regards to love and romance? What's currently surrounding them? What's coming towards them? Or who's coming towards them? And what is the energetic connection at this time? Another jumper. Let's see. Love and romance for the collective. What does the watcher need to know at this time? More jumpers, so we might have all the jumpers for the first row. The first five. Yeah, I feel like doing an extended message today. Any more messages, collective? I'm sorry, spirit. <laughs> Any more messages for the collective spirit? Flipper. The first one I get to see. The Five of Pentacles. Let's get one more shuffle and then we'll start your channel messages. And read what the cards say. Ooh, Ace of Cups. I like you. So what's grounding your message today is the Ace of Cups. And we know what that is, right? That's an opportunity for a new love. Possibly a new relationship coming towards you. Or intuitive gifts activating. Right? <clears throat> So this is wish fulfillment when it comes to the emotions, the current grounding energy of this connection, right? Or what's currently surrounding you. So let's start here. These were the jump or the fallers first. This will be the fourth and this will be the fifth. So we got the Hierophant, Taurus, the Fool, Aries, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So we already know the Holy Grail, the Ace of Cups, right? That new opportunity for love, wish fulfillment, happiness, joy. Possibly a new relationship coming towards you guys. It's grounding the energy. And the King of Cups is the first card, right? Masculine energy. Basically the King of Cups, but re regenerate as it resonates, right? We all have masculine and feminine energy, right? The King of Cups is someone super romantic, right? Um, very mature, emotionally developed, right? They have a lot of emotional intelligence. With it being Scorpio, <clears throat> it can be someone definitely super intuitive, uh, deeply empathetic. Mm, they can be uh, highly psychic or energy sensitive, right? Career-wise, this could be some sort of a doctor or um, some sort of a healer, right? Maybe a Reiki specialist or a massage specialist. They, the King of Cups definitely likes to be near water, right? <laughs> Possibly a strong drinker. We could have a comedian or a storyteller as well, just to throw out a few of those occupations. But usually someone very sensitive, or they could be, right? They can, they can indeed wear their heart on their sleeve. I'm wearing blue. <laughs> they can definitely wear their heart on their sleeve, right? Or since they're emotionally intelligent and emotionally stable, right? They know when to smile at someone. and know when they shouldn't be smiling at someone that doesn't deserve that kind of energy, right? Emotional discernment, right? Watch, I start hearing people say emotional discernment. <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's what's starting off. So definitely you possibly have a king of cups type of indi indi um, individual coming towards you, right? They may be infatuated with you or have some sort of a, they see a love potential with you here. They're wanting to offer you their cup, a.k.a. their heart. The full card, Aries energy. So they may have a strong fire sign somewhere in their placement. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but the Fool represents um, Aries energy. It's very adventurous, right? The Fool is, right? They could be a comedian or a jester. The King of Cups is a comedian, right, as well, right? They know how to pull on the heartstrings of people. So whether that's singing, dancing, or making people laugh, right, which is part of being some of the best medicine we have here, right? Um, yeah, you can definitely be dealing with a uh, comedian, <laughs> You could possibly be dealing with a shaman, right? Someone that practices minimalism, or they could definitely be a millennial, right? The fool also represents, just like the sun, childlike faith, right? Having complete faith in the universe. He's about to walk off the side of this mountain, right? <laughs> but he's looking up towards the sky, right? Mm-hmm. So you could definitely have someone that wants to journey or travel or, a.k.a. the fool, take a leap of faith into a new romantic endeavor with you. The next card is the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could indeed be a marriage or some sort of a traditional union here. You can be dealing with a religious or spiritual individual. The Hierophant is a religious teacher, like a pastor or a preacher, possibly a business owner, someone that um is giving me someone that's very structured or they have some sort of a system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of strong earth sign energy after the Hierophant Taurus. We have the King of Pentacles Taurus. So strong earth sign energy here. The King of Pentacles, again, Mr. Moneybags, right? The wealthy man or the mature man, the father figure or a husband, right? But someone financially stable, right? Very supportive, grounding, mm -hmm. uh, very independent, right? This person could be a financial professor or someone that's into real estate, land acquisition, you know, any sort of uh, money-making endeavors like uh, crypto or uh, stock market investing. Yeah, very financially stable and savvy individual, right? Business investor. Again, you could be dealing with an entrepreneur here. And the last card out on the first row is the five of pentacles, a change up financially or a change up in one's health, right? We see them looking dastardly, tattered, right? The locked out in the cold type of energy, right? <laughs> you want to know the crazy part? Even if you're wealthy, <laughs> you can still feel like locked out in the cold, right? The thing about ha having money, you can't even really trust who's really your friend, right? Sometimes you have a whole lot of money. Say, for instance, you have a whole lot of money from America, but you can't go to another country and spend it because they don't accept American money, right? Just to give you a few examples. Or you can very well have a pocket full of money because it's happened to me a whole lot of times. But, I mean, what does the happiness really come from? From you having money and spending it or, <laughs> like, really? Some people work off credit and then the cash doesn't even work. <laughs> but, yeah, a change up financially here or... Um, for me, it's become like a comfort level thing because everything goes back to comfort, right? Your health being your wealth. Let's get down to the second row. Yeah, but so far it seems like you have a very, um, this person seems very responsible, <clears throat> like emotionally responsible, and they possibly own a business as well. They possibly have a business where they um, help take care of people or they counsel people. Or like they donate or contribute to other people's success or well-being, right? Again, a doctor or maybe a preacher or a pastor or some sort of a counselor. Let's clarify the King of Cups. The Moon card, strong Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. Coming out on top of the King of Cups. So again, confirming this very emotional individual here. Now, this person may be like me, some sort of a clairvoyant or psychic or powerful energy reader. At nighttime, storytelling. Mm -hmm. This person may have children. A channel message. They could have vivid dreams as well. So this person may be dreaming about you. <laughs> I'm getting this person is having a dream about leaping into your arms, right? That must be a feminine dreaming about leaping into some man's arms. <laughs> Let's clarify the full card while we at it. Nine of Pentacles, independence. 
looking um, luxurious, looking um, just being able to stand on their own too, right? The nine of pentacles is the harvest, right? Before we get to the 10, which is that generational wealth and being able to share it with people, right? Yeah, this is a strong independent um, fool that we have here because it clarifies the fool card. Mm -hmm. Again, it gives me a certain perspective. It, it gives me... It's like this person doesn't really have a worry, right? <clears throat> they may be um, financially uh, supported by whatever religion or faith that they have, right? So maybe, maybe this person is like on some sort of a keto diet plan or something like that. So they don't even have to really wor worry about eating or where their next meal meal comes from, right? Because you can get an apple or a banana from a anywhere, right? <laughs> Or whatever the case may be, this person possibly doesn't have to worry about finances because maybe they have a religious. If I'm to look at this, right, being a very faithful person, emotionally developed and the horse, a hard worker, religious and anointed. That could be like a clairvoyant or a psychic or an intuitive, a therapist or a counselor. Right. So they service the people and they receive back karma, whether the person's paying them or it's. Um. I don't want to get too deep into politics, especially money politics. But yeah, this person that's coming towards you, they're very stable here. I'm trying to see what else I can read from this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they probably like birds or something like that. Let's go ahead and clarify the here font. The hangman. Yeah, a deeply relig uh, spiritual individual. They have, they've obtained some sort of enlightenment. They could be some sort of a teacher as well. Pisces, self-sacrificing. This reminds me of um, what is it that they do? What they do to Christians to assist with like the rebirth, um, when you put them underwater, right? Mm, I forget what it's called. It's like one of the most common practices um, in Christianity. I, I can't even believe that I'm blanking on it right now, right? So that baptism. That's what it reminds me of. This person could uh, be baptized or um. The hangman is, is a pause. It's a rest. Again, it could be some sort of a healer. But I don't know why baptism comes to mind. Maybe this person wants to be baptized in your love. Or they want to baptize you in their love, right? The first card is a king of pentacles. Water. It's like, come, come to my place. Yeah, I'm going to come on. What is that song? Come on over to my place. So, yeah, come to my place. Relax. Get baptized and... All of wonderfulness, right? It's like going to Disney World, but going to this King of Cups, a.k.a. this fool, a.k.a. this Hierophant's house, right? It would be like going to Michael Jackson's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is going on? We have the temperance card. Yeah. More spiritual matters. This could be a spiritual healer, right? Some sort of a scientist or an alchemist, very balanced and patient individual. It's our first earth angel to show up as well. So this person could possibly um, be a descendant of an angel, right? <laughs> the third eye is opened up, so they're very knowledgeable, very intelligent. They know themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person, I'm not sure if they like to dress in all white. Or if they just like to dress in like these type of clothes. <clears throat> like very um loose fitting clothes. I mean, I guess in modern day terms, I don't know if it's like hoodies or like draped clothing or like very luxurious fabrics, I guess. Mm. Yeah, but a very stable person. This this person, they give off a lot of healing energy. Almost like their energy is like medicine to a lot of people. Let's clarify this five of pentacles. <laughs> pentacles. The queen of swords comes out on top of this five of pentacles discernment. So this person is independent here. They don't like to be. So what I'm going to say is this person doesn't like to be locked down, basically. Because the queen of swords, again, is very independent. And we have a very independent nine of pentacles here, right? Yeah, it could be to this person's financial success or due to the fact that they have a powerful mind, right? You can't give someone, like, you can't give a slave knowledge and think that person's still going to be a slave. <clears throat> and again, they could be, you know, 
what I'm getting though, it seems like this person is is highly successful, right? They may be some sort of a counselor or a teacher, right? Or maybe have some sort of a job in politics. This this okay. What I'm getting is this person helps, you know, people chase their dreams. Or you hear the term dream chaser chaser. This person helps people fulfill their dreams, Pisces, dreams, big goals and ideas, wonderment, right? Uh, higher levels of thoughts, right? Sometimes even inebriation. But we're grounded in here since it's clarifying the hair font, which is an entrepreneur. And then the Queen of Swords comes in here with discipline. We already have the King of Pentacles here, not being afraid to take a leap of faith or take action or follow through with the um, full card. And then, of course, the the king of cups which is the love or the romance in the situation wanting to bring balance reciprocation here with the temperance card maybe this person even wants to run away yeah i'm getting um mary j blige ludicrous want to run away love this person possibly wants to elope with you as well <laughs> yeah i'm getting run into your arms and keep me safe from harm i want to run to you who is that whitney houston i don't even know these songs this is the this is the person I don't know if this person was like grew up and knows these songs, right? Because I'm a dude, right? I don't have a playlist. No matter how much I agree with feminine energy, I don't have a playlist full of female songs. Yeah, I like R and B and I have a whole lot of favorite female R and B um rappers and female um singers and you know, even some oldies, but I don't know what a woman's playlist looks like, so <laughs> Excuse me. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And all his armor, gold armor, bringing this golden pentacle, slow moving, right? With all that armor on, on a black horse. <laughs> Usually you see the, the, with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups, they're on a white horse. He's on that black horse. Maybe this person that's coming towards you is like the black sheep of the family or some sort of an outcast. Comes out on top of the moon card and the knight, uh, sorry, the king of cups. Yeah, this person is very emotional here. That's possibly why they're bringing this pentacle to you, some sort of an offer. They could definitely see marriage with you with the higher font being here. We see the two figures at the feet of this uh, pastor here or this religious figure being united in holy matrimony, right? Yep. If you've never noticed those two people, again, it could be students as well because their hair font is a religious teacher. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. This person that's coming towards you. They can have a lot of youthful energy or something like that. Mm, or like, what is it? I don't think it's naivety. I know money can it can keep you youthful. Again, when we talk about money being the root of all evil, which is not real, right? First of all, money's fake. But since we live in a in the systems here, if I'm, since we live in government societies and systems, mon, mon, money can help you feed your family. It can help you buy medicine, and it definitely can house you and fix a lot of problems. Right? But money can be used for nefarious purposes as well. I don't need to bring negative energy into the reading. But use your imagination. Money can be used for things like breadcrumbing. Ooh. The Queen of Cups shows up. Wow. No wonder she's so luxurious because this is a feminine sitting back. She's very faithful. Right? It reminds me of divine feminine energy here. And Nine of Pentacles energy. Right? A harvest. Or this could be pregnancy for some. Again, I did mention motherhood. So this union may produce a child, right? If you guys don't already have a child. But still, even if you guys already have a child or this person already has a child, they're looking to produce more. I mean, if you didn't know anything about women and women's anatomy, right? It's like any muscle, <laughs> once she has a child, right? She becomes a baby making factory, right? The body is in baby making mode for a number of years until it closes its doors permanently. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of emotion here with the moon card as well, the moon and the hangman Pisces, and at the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups, so yeah, a lot of energy here, exchanging cups with someone, we see that two of, well, we don't necessarily have to see the two of cups, and I'm not even sure why I'm mentioning it, I'm gonna be like, whoa, 
You know what we haven't seen in a long time? We haven't seen Gemini the lover show up. But you definitely have a divine counterpart here. And you guys are in each other's peripheral from what I'm getting is a downloaded message. So you may know this person indeed or this person or you may know of this person. They, they definitely know you because they're, they're ready to take a leap of faith into your arms. <laughs> they're ready to lock this down, right? Again, men don't play games like that. I mean, some of them do, right? A man knows whether he wants to marry a woman or not. It doesn't take two, five, ten years, all this crap, right? He's like, I found one. Just like a woman knows immediately, right? When she sees a man, whether he's, I'm not sure if she knows whether he's father material or not because women are a little bit more testy. But they know an attractive man when they see one, right? She automatically knows whether she wants to sleep with that man or not, right? Right? Women are the gatekeepers of sex. Men let them believe that. And men are the gatekeepers of marriage, right? It's funny because I want to say, or at least that's what women make them believe, because we know women file 80% of divorces for no reason, right? <laughs> Let's clarify the hangman in the hair font. Ooh. The king of swords. <laughs> whoa. 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 <laughs> You guys are definitely meant to be together. Both of you guys are emotionally intelligent and you have very powerful discernment. Your intuition is off the charts. So you guys may have some sort of a psychic connection with each other already. You know what confirms it? Your connection to spirit and the, and the fact that you're already enlightened, enlightened. One or both of you guys may like to meditate or something like that. You Oh, you guys are already married. In the higher dimensions, right? We're in, we're in a 3D plane, right? So, you know, we perceive love the way that we can perceive love on a 3D plane. But there's even higher forms of, lo of love in different dimensions, right? Yeah. Look at you go. Look at you go. Yep. I like to see it. And you and your person is quite magical. Let's clarify the temperance and the king of pentacles, the three of wands. Yeah, you guys journey, you guys' energy journey to each other a lot. It reminds me of the red string of fate, right? If you don't know about the legend of that whole legend of, you know, true love um, being bound to each other by that particular thing. And I'm also being reminded of if anyone's ever seen that movie Donnie Darko. When it got to the point of the movie where he started talking to his teacher about um, his masculine teacher about like time travel and things like that. And they started talking about the solar plexus. And then after that, he actually started seeing the solar plex plexus activate in his life, like the, the tunnel, basically, that shows your life path. Right. Yeah. You guys are energetically connected somehow. Right. Waiting for your ships to come in or my meeting you halfway car, because if you know if there's some something out there waiting for you or something trying to find you. Make it easier by going after it yourself. Right? You all know I look at that as the minor arcana version of the magician, right? Manifest, right? This is taking action to manifest. Why would you be waiting on your ships to come in? Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Well, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles waiting, <laughs> pruning, maintaining, right? So this is a garden. Um, that's been built or being maintained, right? Again, pruning, cutting off the access, making sure it's being grown properly. Mm -hmm. It's also an investment, Seven of Pentacles, right? So there's an investment ready. Oh, I see what's going on here. The Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, discernment. And then we move on to the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So there's an investment. Someone's making a discernment. Yeah, this is marriage. This person is ready to invest in a relationship with you. I actually want these videos to upload a little bit more quicker. So I'm not going to do a five row spread, right? I'll leave that to more special occasions when I want to do hour long videos. Right? And I have better Wi-Fi to upload them. But we're still going to look at the bottom. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, Justice. Another indication of marriage or karma coming towards you. Someone wants to turn you into an honest man or honest woman. Balanced communication and all that type of stuff, right? Honesty. Could even be a business. The hermit. Indicative of self-development, right? Knowing yourself, being a deep or critical thinker. This could even be isolation. 
someone here ooh, someone here has precognition as well it's like they're in the dark but they have a lamp here Yeah. And of course, your person always wants to spend a long time with you, right? Those are the best times. Eight of Swords, an echo chamber, or constant thoughts, or um, even constantly talking about the same thing, right? For me, this could be a prayer card, right? Locked in, um, locked in your head about something. It could be a mental block, but I'm not really getting that. I'm just getting that your person thinks about you a lot. Like you're constantly on the mind. Manifestation, right? Three of Wands, Eight of Swords. We got nothing but marriage and love here. Two divine counterparts in the Queen and King of uh, Swords and the, uh, of Cup. Mm. Swords and Cups, yeah. Three of Cups, again, the energy they want to spend with you. There's a Devil card. <laughs> <laughs> There's the, don't be afraid of the Devil card. It just reminds you of the, the toxicity or, um, you know, with with the good, you have to take the bad as well. But the earthbound celebrity, nonetheless, very um, Capricorn energy. So very practical. You know, they like to be in control, type that type of stuff, right? And justice. So we have a lot of indications of marriage. Justice, this karmic contract here with the devil card. We have the here front, which is marriage. Yeah. <clears throat> Overall good things. I just need to go somewhere and just hack it out with all this coal that's just stuck here. Just give me like a half gallon of orange juice. But yeah. That's what I'm getting here. Very positive energy. Like these were the cards that was under the deck here. The Ace of Cups. The Hermit. Yeah, it's like someone, <clears throat> it's something about you, right? Again, this person's targeting you, like their love or their intuition or whatever it is, is targeting you. The Three of Cups, right? They want to celebrate with you. They want to have a gathering with you. They they want to um, connect more with you emotionally. Some sort of a celebration as well. Justice. You may be dealing with an air sign. That's a Libra. The hermit is Virgo. <coughs> More major arcana. Water sign energy. Double Pisces. Per person may have Pisces in their chart. Mm -hmm. Or they're very dreamy. Again, um, it's a lot of illusions here. Again, they may have some sort of a precognition abilities or or. Ooh, your person needs to get a dream journal. Mm -hmm. Again, they have very vivid dreams. And again, I'm being brought back to you guys meet up on the astral plane a lot or something like that. Like, it seems like you guys are already married. <laughs> right? Which, I mean, that's what happens in spirit first. And then it manifests <laughs> in reality. Right? So your your um, 5D uh, energy is just waiting on your 3D um existence or presence to catch up to um that whole timeline if there is such a thing right temperance balance right the uh spirit of the connection very healing right you guys mix well you see this earth angel mixing these fluids this ace of cups <laughs> oh wow <laughs> the devil card yeah your person's super attracted to you right he's mixing these cups right well you see this queen wow her shit is fancy she got a chalice right so where's that temperance at? See that temperance mixing you guys' cups together? Mixing you guys' love juices together? <laughs> yep. The king and queen of swords. Again, both of you guys are very smart, very intelligent. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You guys could have very powerful conversations. You guys are, man, you guys are going to be able to manifest a whole new world. Yeah. Whatever you think of, and two heads are better than one, right? Any other high court cards? The knight and the king of pentacles, right? The page ain't even show up in this reading. <laughs> yep, slow moving offer to a, <laughs> I don't even want to call the king slow moving, right? 
but he sits upon a throne. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, I forgot. Um, we have Ares the Fool in the Hierophant. Uh, Taurus. Doesn't seem like this person minds working hard. Mm -hmm. This person may even make a good assistant, right? Again, take it how it resonates. Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. In which we do have a synchronicity because we have a Three of Cups here as well. I want to run to you. This is how your person is looking at you. <laughs> Look, this is them. This is um you guys. Or this is how they're looking at your current situation. You must be popular or something like that with the Earthbound Celebrity. Or again, one of you guys have a very important job where you deal with a lot of people. We go from the five of seven the five of pentacles to the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. <laughs> Jumping up by twos. Yeah. Great energy. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Going from displacement or whatever this is, financial confusion to um, building something, right? Um, planting seeds and watching them grow, right? Pruning, right? Maintaining the proper love connection and courting, right? Watering your relationship well, and then it blossoms until this, you get the harvest, the nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Break 3131, right as I looked up. Yep. I'll show you the devil one more time because that's earth sign energy. <laughs> we just got through talking about Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are going to be very successful together, possibly own a business together. I think that's the wave of the future, right? Especially with AI taking over certain, uh, a lot of jobs. I think that husband and wives, they should become business partners. I'm over here trying to shuffle. King of Wands fell out. That's leadership. That's a strategy. That's a lot of creativity. They would make a great salesman. It, it is... Um, it's creativity, it's sex, but the first thing that comes to mind when I see the, the king of wands in this particular context is a content creator. But I mean, you could have an athlete, an actor, or a model, or whatever the case may be. But indicative of the attraction and a very fiery nature between you two. Let's get a break deck message to close out the reading. And we will allow this one to upload, and I'll shoot the next one. I really want to blow my nose right now. I should think I should twist these twist to make them a little bit more skinnier. Or maybe I should get it braided. Get some nice corn rolls to the back. <laughs> I got to take it out and shampoo it and condition it. I washed it a couple of days ago. Like the day before yesterday, but I didn't really like shampoo it and condition it. I think I may even want to treat it, which for me would just, I'm a man. So I'm just going to just grease it possibly. Yeah, a lot of, I've been um, seeing a lot of people with their natural out nowadays. I saw an older woman with her. <laughs> and, and this was at the clinic that I had went to today. <laughs> Everyone's joking with her today. I guess this, this is her first day showing up to work with like her natural afro out. They're like, you cut your hair? She's like, no, I'm just letting it breathe. Yeah. Some people like, although I, I don't necessarily get insecure because I've always been a type of person. Like at certain different points in my life, I grew my hair out, right? But being my own person, right, and always being a very clean cut, pretty boy type, I've always had kept a low cut with like a like a brush cut and like waves, and like this is the first time in my life, like literally, you guys are watching me grow my hair out. <clears throat> Before I used to cut my own hair. I think I cut my own hair for the past five, six years. Probably been to the barber shop maybe a handful of times. I can't count on both hands. Anyways, break deck message for the collective, the watchers at this time. Mirroring energy 34, 43. What do we need to know? Definitely dealing with a strong connection here. 
Again, possibly divine counterpart of Twin Flame. We saw double synchron synchronicities. You and your person have similar e energies, right? All right, let's do a break deck message. The Nine of Wands, the journey, and the Ace of Wands, which is the Ten of Wands. <laughs> so there's a lot of strong chemistry and passion here, right? Even uh, sexual curiosity, burdens need to be dropped here. Someone's been on a long journey, so they could appear very aggressive. Or um, you know how people get when they get um, sexually frustrated, like they get very iffy and touchy, right? This could be that type of energy. Or it can just be like the number of wounds and scars a person has picked up or that they're carrying with them. They could possibly get easily triggered physically. But there's a lot of sexual attraction here. And then the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, right? Literally the male phallus, right? But it could be um, someone using their wand. This person could be a smoker. This person could use an instrument in their daily life. Um, yeah, but a lot of someone that um, this person is being... Um, so what I want to say is they're being ignited with a whole lot of passion at this time. So they could be very creative at this time or, um, hmm, this could definitely, if it's not already a relationship, this is an, it's, it's a new relationship. If you're in a relationship already, it's new passions being sparked here. Again, maybe there needs to be a little bit more sexual spice or excitement here. Or who, who knows, it may be too much. Again. How do you think, men, and this is my theory, how do men <laughs> develop erectile dysfunction? Because they just keep getting in lackluster relationships, having sex with random people. At some point, yeah, it's a muscle, and it can get stronger, but without an emotional connection, it's just, <laughs> it gets broken, right? You used it too much. That's kind of like when women, when they can't care bond, when they can't pair bond because they've been with too many men, right? We wonder why we feel like crap. It's because... All of these experience, you're just tiring yourself out with lackluster experiences. Why would I want to have sex with someone that I don't feel an emotional or mental connection with, right? Why would I want to be in a relationship with someone that I don't like that's draining me, right? I told you, I talked about this before. If you can have a conversation with someone and it make you feel totally drained afterwards, that's an energy vampire and your energy doesn't mix well with that person. If you're able to hang out with person, uh, another with someone and it make you feel good, Right. You feel replenished. Right. You feel like you learned something or whatever the positive thing is. Yeah. That's probably someone that um, whether friend. Right. Or someone. Yeah. That person gives off good vibes. That's a healer or a very positive person. Those are the type of people you want to be around. Not someone that always has some tea or gossip. <laughs> One more break deck message before I let you guys go, just to confirm the reading. What else do we have here for the collective? What does the collective need to know in regards to love and romance? And, uh, yeah, sorry about the, uh, the late start for today. I hope this doesn't become a trend. Last week was very eclipsing. This week is just like, mm, the energy is like, I don't know if it's necessarily lagging. But it's uh, it's almost like daylight savings time when you change daylight savings. Let's prime these energies. Ooh, flippers. The seven of pentacles, the page of wands, and the ace of wands. <laughs> yeah. This. So the channel message, someone's ready for a child here. This is the child, right? <clears throat> if it's not that, this is the, um, it's youthful energy, not necessarily naivety, but I call it immature sex. We could be dealing with a virgin or a virgin-like individual, right? They're ready to invest in a connection, right? They could have been, they could be abstinence, right? They've been holding back sex until they find something that's, that's worth investing in. And then here's literally... <laughs> The passion igniting, right? <laughs> let the lighting let the lighting show the truth. <laughs> Out of the darkness comes the light. But it's not about sex. I think this person is just, you know, it's love. That's what comes with it, right? One thing that women don't understand. Well, women do. I mean, this should be common knowledge, right? Men and women are different, right? Women experience sex through their emotions, and which is not tangible, right? And men experience love tangibly, right? They. <laughs> 
we like to show, right? We're showers. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ooh, there goes the lovers. Yep, it's investment time. Congratulations. Your person's ready to come toward you. Yep, they're ripe. They're ready. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of uh, kinks to iron out, but, you know, for the most part, they're there. Yeah, you guys may already have some sort of an attachment with each other. Or you may feel like um, there's new romance coming in. Right? The Four of Swords and the Star card. Yeah, this person... <laughs> nakedness here this person sees you as a wish fulfillment sexually right i'm not sure if they've seen you naked before <laughs> we're getting highlights here so you're like this person's dream person right just like you know you're probably attracted to them as well right there's a whole lot of sleep and rest and uh, replenishment and a lot of healing right the star card a healer right the star is even the indicative of the star children the indigo children Again, there's a child here, right? If you guys are already married and in a relationship in the 3D, I'm pretty sure there's a child waiting here. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, again, you guys probably dream about each other. Mm -hmm. And in the 3D, you guys are hot and heavy and ready to get it on here. <laughs> well, at least this is the way this person feels towards you. <laughs> yep. But that is what I have for you guys today. Someone definitely has you on the mind, Eight of Swords. They see you as their person, right? You see the twins keep popping up here with the king and uh, queen of, of swords and cups. The ace of cups was grounding the reading, right? We had the hierophant show up, which is indicative of traditionalism, right? Even marriage. You want it, So there's um, there's a lot of religion and spirituality. Is there, is there even a difference between the two and the hierophant and the earth angel temperance showing up, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, deep soul bond connection. Damn. Let's close out the reading. We got the Ten of Cups. Happy family and wish fulfillment. Emotional ecstasy, right? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a financial windfall or a new commitment. My wedding ring card, which leads into a safe, a happy, a fulfilled life lineage here. Here's the children here. If you guys don't already have children and you want those, right? And this is you two. Mm-hmm being successful with each other mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what the universe is offering you guys or this is what the, the, the person that's coming towards you offering you love and marriage love and marriage come together like a horse and <laughs> let me stop <laughs> all right then hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading i'll catch you guys on the next go round like the video subscribe to the channel peace